Hey everyone, it's Sarah Jane with Chic on the Cheap, and today we're talking about $10 Dollar Tree items that I will never buy again. Now, if you've been with my channel for a while now, you will know I love Dollar Tree. There are some amazing products there, but there are also some really bad ones, and those are the ones we're focusing on today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first item that I will never buy again at Dollar Tree has to be these glass cleaning wipes. These were everywhere in my local Dollar Trees when I lived in Florida, and they are everywhere here too in North Carolina. And basically you get 160 wipes inside of this container, and I'm sure many people look at this and think, what a great deal, what a great value. I know I did when I first saw these, but let's just look at the label and see what this product promises it will do. And the first thing that I've noticed is it says it is streak-free here, and that it also has an advanced formula and that it is best for windows, drinking glasses, your mirrors, and your car windshield. So I'm just gonna show you what happens when you use this product on a mirror. It leaves streaks and residue all over it. The same thing happens on my car windshield and on the windows in my apartment. So it doesn't matter how many wipes are in here. It's not a good value if they don't work and if they leave you in a worse situation than you were before. And that's what I found these glass wipes did to me. So the next Dollar Tree product that I want to talk about are these removable hooks. I'm just not a big fan of Dollar Tree putting the word removable on the packaging of these. I just feel like the packaging is really misleading and I'm afraid people will buy these thinking they can remove them without damaging their walls. And trust me, that's just not the case. I have used these hooks for years and they have taken the paint off of my walls. They've also taken the sheetrock off of my walls. So please do not use these in an apartment or any kind of rental situation. And I would also advise against using them in a home you own, at least with the adhesive that is provided in the packaging. Now my tip for these is to grab some command strip adhesive and you can still use the hooks, but instead place the command strips on the back and then put them in place. I'm just trying to save you guys from a big headache. So when you see these in Dollar Tree and you see the word removable on there, just know that yes, these are removable, but when you do remove them, part of your wall is going with them too. Next is a hair care product that's been in Dollar Tree for years, and it's this dry shampoo. It comes in two different fragrances, a crisp and a blossom. And right here on the front of the bottle, it says compared to Batiste dry shampoo. Now I love Batiste and I use that dry shampoo all the time. I'm always stocked up on it. So when I saw this in Dollar Tree and it said that it compares to Batiste and it's in this like travel size or smaller size that I could just throw in a gym bag or take with me when I do travel, that suckered me in. But here's the kicker. This product actually works and it works well, but where things go awry is the smell. So it doesn't matter if you pick the crisp scent or the blossom one, there is an after smell after you spray this in your hair of maple syrup. Yes, it is really weird. It smells like somebody poured a bottle of syrup on your head. And I swear, as you walk around, that fragrance becomes more apparent. So I don't care how well a product works. If it makes me smell weird, I'm not gonna buy it again. And that's just how I feel about this dry shampoo at Dollar Tree. It just works well, but it makes you smell weird. So this is a no-go for me. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the next product and it's an aromatherapy item. It's these shower fizzies and you get three for a dollar and 25 cents. And let's just look at the packaging and see what these shower fizzies are supposed to do. It says Spa Naturals shower fizzies will turn your shower into a relaxing aromatherapy experience. Each effervescent tablet fills your shower with a wonderful fragrance and a blend of essential oils that will last long after the tablet dissolves. And it says to use these, place a tablet onto your shower floor or shelf where it gets wet, but is not in the main water stream as it fizzes. The aroma from the essential oils is released into the shower and surrounding bathroom, providing a pure aromatherapy treatment. And who doesn't want a pure aromatherapy treatment? That sounds so nice, especially for an item that you can get at the Dollar Tree. These items typically are pretty expensive and more on the luxurious end of things. But let me just tell you, these don't work at all. There's not even like the slightest bit of fragrance, at least in my experience, and you don't even get a little fizzle or sizzle or anything. They just kind of sit there and do nothing. So in my opinion, these are a complete waste of money. And if you see these in Dollar Tree, you can make eye contact, but just keep on walking. 
Now, another thing that I just won't buy at Dollar Tree are vitamins because one, I wanna make sure I know exactly what's inside of the vitamins that I take. And then two, I wanna make sure that they're quality, which brings us to today's sponsor, Ritual. Ritual is the obsessively researched multivitamin reimagining health from the ground up. I love Ritual's Essential for Women Multivitamin 18 Plus. Not only are the vitamins beautiful, they contain nine high quality nutrients from D3 to omega-3s that are difficult to get enough of every day even with a healthy diet. Transparency is at the core of everything Ritual does from the way the nutrients are sourced to the environmental impact of the materials they use to ship their orders. My favorite thing about the vitamins is the mint essence tablet that makes them so easy to take and the capsules have a delayed release which is also really gentle on your stomach. There are multivitamins for everyone in your family from kids to teens to prenatal and postnatal and also 50 plus. And of course you guys know I have a discount code for you, 20% off one month's worth of vitamins or their new daily protein shake by using the code CHIC20. Just click on the link down in the description box below to get started. Okay, so speaking of supplements and vitamins, this next product is something that I just feel like Dollar Tree should stop selling altogether. I'm pretty passionate about it because I do know a lot of older people use this product and I just hate to think of them struggling with it. But it's this pill organizer by Fusion Life. Now I bought this item a few months ago Go. And when I first got it home, I thought I had a dud product. So I went back and purchased another one and it was equally just as bad. And the issue with these is that the slots are not reliable. Some of them open, some of them just stay closed. And then some of them, you can get them open and put your medication in and get everything all organized. But once you close the slot, you can't get it back open again. And what happens is your medication or your supplements get trapped inside and it's almost impossible to get these open again. So I just cannot recommend these. I think they're a terrible Dollar Tree product. So I looked on Dollar Tree's website to see if other people were having the same issue I was having. And this reviewer says she would think a pill organizer would be easy for an elderly person to open. This is trash. Pretty much this company just stole my money because nobody can use this. And another Another person said it's flimsy and some have broken off because it's nearly impossible to open. You'd think it would be simple, but it's hard to do. And another reviewer called this product worthless. And then this person said it was the worst pill case ever. So yes, I stand by my original statement. This is a product Dollar Tree should just stop selling all together. I was about to get worked up there, but the next item that I will no longer be buying at Dollar Tree are these glue sticks by Jot. You get eight for a dollar and 25 cents. And this is another one of those items that just looks like a really good deal, but if it doesn't work, it really doesn't matter how many you get, and these do not work well at all. In fact, I would call these terrible glue sticks. The adhesive is just not even there. I do a lot of crafts here on my channel, and I was so disappointed in the quality of these. Now, if you are shopping for a glue stick at Dollar Tree, I have to recommend this one. It's a jumbo glue stick. It works so well, and it's my go-to. I use it with all of my projects. I have one in like our junk drawer here that I use to close up envelopes and just different tasks around the house. So it's good just to have on hand in general, not just for crafting, but I cannot recommend this one enough. It lasts such a long time. The adhesive is really good. And it's just, again, my go-to glue stick. Moving on now to this craft knife set. You can find this in the crafting section at Dollar Tree. And I had high hopes for this, but this really is a safety issue that Dollar Tree should address because the problem with this knife set is that the holder at the top where you put the blade does not securely hold the blade, making this an item that is pretty difficult to use because the blade falls out. And I don't know about you, but it doesn't make me feel too good to know that a blade I'm using could fall out at any time. So that's why mine went in the trash. And then I spent a few more dollars to get the brand name X-Acto knife. And that has just worked so well. And it's been worth every penny. And so I just have to recommend going with the name brand or a higher quality X-Acto knife because you could save yourself a little money when you first buy it. But what happens if you have a huge hospital bill or something? Something like this. I just would not risk that with a knife or a blade. So that's why I can't recommend this knife set. And I would recommend uh, just spending a few more dollars to get the name brand or a higher quality um, X-Acto or craft knife. 
The next product I am no longer buying at Dollar Tree are their paintbrushes. Now, over the past several years, I have experimented with different paintbrushes from Dollar Tree. There are several available, but each time I have been so disappointed in whatever I'm painting, having several loose bristles on it. So the bristles just seem to fall out of every paintbrush I've used from Dollar Tree, but I did go to Dollar Tree's website to see what other people were saying about the different paintbrushes because there are so many different kinds of available and the reviews were really mixed. Some people really like them, others don't. I definitely am on the adult side or team don't buy <laughs> those paintbrushes, but let me know how you feel about them down in the comment section below. But my experience has just not been good with them, so I will no longer be buying them from Dollar Tree. This next item is a really popular one at Dollar Tree, so it's a little difficult for me to say and to include this in this video, but I do feel like I need to mention it because it could be dangerous. I've just had some bad experiences with the oven mitts at Dollar Tree. I no longer buy these because they are just way too thin to protect you from the heat of a hot tray or baking dish. And I found that out the hard way a few times last year using Dollar Tree mitts. And ever since then, I've just avoided buying them. I know it can be tempting because Dollar Tree puts out really cute oven mitts during different holidays and different seasons, but I would just recommend using those for decoration if you do find them cute and not actually putting them to the test. Because what's the point of even wearing an oven mitt if it's not going to protect your hands from getting burns? These are just way too thin to rely on and it's worth spending a few extra dollars to get a higher quality oven mitt than having to pay a bill from a trip to the emergency room. And the last item on my list of the 10 things I will no longer buy at Dollar Tree are scented candles. Now this doesn't mean I will stop buying candles at Dollar Tree, but I will stop buying candles for their scent, if that makes sense. I love going down the candle aisle at Dollar Tree and seeing what cute accent candles are available, but when it comes to any of them having a strong fragrance that will fill the room, I have never found one that will even fill a bathroom with fragrance. All right, guys, well, that's it. Those are 10 items that I will no longer be buying at Dollar Tree. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my opinions, because really that's what they are and nothing is set in stone. So you can disagree with me if you would like. I love reading your comments and hearing from you. It is an open forum. So I just appreciate you so much for watching my video and just supporting this channel. It means the world to me. I also wanted to say a big thanks to Ritual for sponsoring it. And remember, you can get 20% off your first month's worth of vitamins using my code chic20 and clicking on the link down in the description box below. And until my next video, I'll see you then.